Hello, this is G9LP, and uh, sorry about the long wait, that whole bunch of stuff being marked, and um, I'm just, just trying to get my head together. Anyways, never mind about all that. The last time in Castlevania Portrait to Ruin, we needed a few more quests. We um, uh, went through the, uh, the Great Stairway, and we ended up here in Tower of Death! And yes, clock towers can go! Clocks in clock towers! Yo, old dog! Yeah, I'm doing that again, man. You know, it's um, uh, the, the, the most annoying enemy in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Well, not that particular one, but more about that in a minute. Um, we need to prepare ourselves um, by not running into tripping the two heads, but by um, uh, tackling our next boss! Um, which I will need to clear myself for, because I'm, uh, I need a couple of things. First I'll need a Bible, and I'm, uh, what's it going to take? So, I'm, uh, gave, kindly gave the, um, uh, this thing, and I, I totally agree with him, because, um, one thing the, uh, Bible has in its properties is going to help us a heck of a lot during them, so I'm, uh, Next boss fight. Um, also, in the light of that, I'm going to um, holy lightning. And the reason why I'm doing that, well, the, the clues in the name. We tackle the next major boss, which is Stella. <sighs> My gosh, I grew tired of waiting. Show yourself, vampire. I, I wait up here, you fool! Anyways, I held back with my proper present, but here you as good as dead! I find it strange you come here alone. Well, it makes me the heck of a least with me, anyways. I, I wouldn't bet on that if I were you, Missy. I alone will take care of you. I'll tear you apart limb by limb, then wring all the blood from your bodies. Oh, God, that sounds gross. I'm not letting you do that, Missy. Ouch! Oh, apparently I'm letting you do that whole new Yikes! Anyways, so this is Stella. Um, she's actually kind of one of my favourite um, uh, characters in the game. And she's also got this move, which is kind of special to me as well. Special to most people, actually. It. But even though it sounds like she's saying Secret Furious Wave, she's not actually saying that. Um, uh, the actual move of the the name of the move is called Furious Wave. The reason it sounds like Secret Furious Wave is because she actually said Secret Strike um, uh, before it, but um, uh, because a bit of a strange glitch in this name, she kind of doesn't finish her first um, uh, sentence. So that's why it sounds like Secret Furious Wave. It's actually saying Secret Strike, Furious or Furious Wave. Okay, so one thing I need to do is yikes! Um, try and stay alive for one, and use the Bible in that. Even though she can kind of dodge it, um, uh, actually can dodge any um uh, stuck, stuck, very attack. Um, yikes! She has a bit more of a job dodging that one because um, uh, she usually takes hits when she's um, uh, doing up moves because so tripping ages to do it. So that's kind of handy, um, because now she's already on her second stage and she's um, uh, very politely um, uh, informed us of this um, uh, crescent moon, um, uh, moon, which you still kind of need to be careful with because when she's doing it she kind of moves quite fast and uh, she can do stuff like that, which isn't handy, but as you can see they just slowly move towards your last um, uh, position, so it's kind of easy to dodge really. Also using Bible, which I'm not really talking about, but I'm uh, using this particular move here. You can then uh, get a fair bit of damage to and she's getting a fair bit of damage to do as well. Anyways, um, lots of things I like about this um, uh, boss fight. Um, First, it's kind of mirroring um, uh, one of the boss fights in um, Dawn of Sorrow, where you get to fight um, uh, the members of the cult. 
that zone there has to fight against. Also, um, this tune, is, the, the actual background music, um, uh, was a very special place in my heart because it's kind of one of my favourite tracks in this game. Um, it's called Dance of Sadness. It's actually done by, um, uh, ouch, not done by ouch at all. Um, it's done by Yuzo Kazero. If you've heard of Yuzo Kazero, if you're a fan of um, the ouch, of not the ouch, of um, Streets of Rage or uh, Revenge of Shinobi or um, Actraiser, then um, he did he did a couple of tracks in this in this game, which are pretty awesome. Um, I think Michiru, um, I don't know her name now, but she's the main com um, uh, sort of composer of this game, and uh, she um, uh, did the tracks, the original track of um, uh, Symphony of the Night, and she did most of the tracks in this game, um, which is pretty damn cool as well. And there's another um, uh, composer who did the track in this game, I completely forgot what they called on. Anyway, Stella's down and she's got some collection again. Ooh, what, what happened to me? Oh, well, apparently some powder you are, you fell, but never mind about that. You're finished! Who knows? Icicles from above, I wonder who that could possibly be. Well, we don't know, but apparently it's, it's, ah, uh, my, my head. Oh, then we've got your colour back. Are you alright, sister? Are you? I'm fine though. No, she's not! She's just out gold! Damn, vampires are so that contagious, you end up losing all your. Ugh, oh well, never mind about that. You were what? Not to leave the painting! Of course she was. He may scold me later. These two are a threat to father. You must take care of them now! No, for now we return. Well, clear off then. Oh, never mind. Well, she's got more to say. Hear me, both of you! If you continue to oppose father, we will show you no mercy! Oppose us, and we'll kill you! We will! I'm not kidding! Yeah, of course you're not. Uh, oh, what's this? As Jonathan just asked, derp. <laughs> it's like a locket! There's a photo inside! Well, I, I don't know why, just show up the binoculars in the eyes. How could you see from that distance? Wow. Oh my goodness! It's. It's... it's... This is wind! And those two vampire girls! And... wow... I, I don't know what kind of contacts he has, Charlotte, but I want them to probably... Obviously they're, they're enchanted or something. What does it mean? I have no idea. We should go ask him about it. Yeah, good idea. But first, we're gonna go over here because, yeah... We're not interested in that, we're interested in... This missing thing here, but uh, obviously we got to something to sort it about. But you know that car we found earlier would probably fit here. You think? Yes, yeah, that that cog, which looks nothing like the cog that just got inserted. How how did that happen? Oh, never mind. At least we can get through now. Let's go! Yay! Let's go and uh, see this room here, which is kind of strange. Got you got these bikes, which start seems it. Land on them, and like what, what? Why are there bikes in the sewer? This <laughs> this <laughs> really free me. Like, what's the point of this? Well, apparently you have got to use all these bikes to break this wall, and it's kind of another sort of ability kind of puzzle bike thing, um, which they kind of throw in there just to mix things up a bit. This one's a bit weird. But on the, what you got to do is you can use your um, uh, your stay ability, and you need to switch between characters. So as soon as Jonathan jumps on his bike, you can now switch between characters and back under these things, and you got to do it for each one. Unfortunately, the last one you got to kind of jump it, but we made it through and woohoo! Yeah, Jonathan likes that, didn't he? Let's keep going. Oh my god, these things. Yeah, these imps, these are real pain in the butt on um, uh, enemies, so you, you don't want to be doing too much. And, uh, so, oh, this is a nice and interesting What earth is this? Oh my god. Ah! The way! Oh, the harpies. Oh, well, at least this is just the entrance back into 
the great stairway and uh, yeah, those muddy bags we found earlier, which we still can't get and still need to be a mad bit smaller or do the with. Well, never mind about that. It's a bit of chopping up here, that chopping way. Yeah. The word of God in your face. Um, yeah, that's too Yes, Jonathan's now a Bible basher. Uh, no, I, I don't know. Anyway, so now we can go up here. I think there's a secret around here somewhere, but there's also the weapon, the halberd! Um, which essentially is a uh, more powerful spear type thing. Um, not, well, actually, not more powerful than the uh, long spear and little thing, but um, uh, it's kind of like an axe, but it's more just a spear type thing. So that's one thing you got to take note of. You can go back in here, and uh, this is actually a very kind of special place. I'm not shady of this guy. It's pretty spooky. You got, ow! You got, you got bats with chucky swords for Pete's sake. What's just all that about? Ugh. So you can't use those swords afterwards, and then you got the uh, double gold. The succubus. Yes, you know what sucky boy do, don't you, or what you want to call it. This case is quite special, you can see that bit. But yeah, this is kind of spooky. Just the atmosphere of this place. With the, the wind and the, the strange thing. It's... Right, no. I, I don't wish to die, thank you very much. You, you just want my love, don't you? That's all you feed upon. Get away! Ew! Yeah, she kind of then sort of tries to run that drag you and ah, at least I've got this. Europa's dress, this is actually really kind of powerful. Anyway, all right, I'll bring you back into the uh, Tower of Death and there we find Lift. Um, which you can't use at the moment. You know, you can sort of do a little sort of stage trick, but it's not operational. And this particular moment in diamond, and uh, whoa, oh my gosh! Huge pillar of fire, which we can just get rid of by landing on that. And we can go back into the uh, Tower of Death, which I'm not going to do at the moment. You can still get hurt by that, I think. Pretty much does. Just don't land on it. Simple with that. Um, Anyways, now I've showed you a little bit of that, I might as well actually just pop back down. Um, because there's still an ouch. There's still a, a little bit of an explanation uh, as to what the heck was all this thing about wind and uh, hanging around Stella and Loretta. Are they born as daughters? Are they born as daughters? Is, is Wind secretly a vampire or something? Well, well, we'll just have to go over there and I'm uh, having let's have words, shall we? Want words, Wind? Wind! What is the meaning of this? Look at this fellow! Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's him alright. And he recognizes it too. Oh dear, oh dear. You owe us an explanation. Ah, indeed I do. Let me tell you my real name. It's Eric. Eric Ricard. You don't mean the man who fought by my father in Castlevania bloodlines? Will you stop breaking the fourth wall, please? Anyway, John was my best friend. Then what's your relationship with these two girls in this photo? They're my daughters. Hold on a sec. Aren't they Bronner's daughters? Bronner lost his real daughters in World War I. His anger and grief awakened his hidden power, which he used to become a vampire. So, there you go, folks. If the war comes along, lock up your daughters. Because. Well, actually, I don't think of that. It's a dodgy thought, really. <laughs> don't think of things like that. So his daughters? He believes in the daughters he lost in the war. Or reborn as my daughters. 
So he kind of just stole them from me? Yes, Jonathan. He kind of just pilfered my damn daughters. What the hell is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> his daughters were his life. Now that he has them back, he wants to punish the humans who were ruined his life. I see. That's why the whip started acting up in front of those two when I was doing a funky chicken for no goddamn reason. It's because they carried the blood of the Ricard family. Of course, the vampire killer. Eric, if you fought by Jonathan's father, then you must know how to unlock the vampire killer's power. Yes, I do. But, if you know, then tell me! What should I do? In order for the Mars family to use the vampire killer, we need the power of the Ricard family. But I can't help you. And of course, now that my daughter's been turned to vampires. So, in the end, this whip is useless. I guess my being is here is just the emptiest, most meaningless title of all. Oh, no, no. I was forbidden to tell you this, but I think the time has come. The reason your father died, I know why he died. They say he, he was mortally wounded when he stopped Dracula's resurrection. Even I know that was the cause, because I'm smart and I read a lot of books. Well, you need to cross in your sources a bit more, dear lady. You're pretty damn wrong. What? For one who is not of the Belmont family, to use the true power of the vampire killer, they must give up a part of their own life. That's why my family acts as the power's key, so that it can only be used when truly necessary. John used the whip too much. So what are you saying? You mean my father died because of this whip? Exactly. Which is why he didn't want you to teach you how to use it. He wanted you that sounded weird, sorry. He wanted you to develop the strength to despise without using the whip. No matter how much you might hate him for doing that. In the end, he was only looking out for you. Oh, damn. You may not yet wield your whip like a bonnet, but that power can be yours. I know that John has his reasons. Father. I knew there was a reason. Aren't you glad, Jonathan? I just don't get it. Why did the Belmonts give this thing to the Morris family? The hell is that much? Jeez, what have we done to those? Not for this, we'd have been spared so much pain! Not for the other time, the dramatics, boy. Um, <laughs> because the Belmonts cannot touch the whip now, it is predicted, to, it is predicted that Dracula will be revived in the year 1999. I've heard that the Belmonts must not touch the vampire killer until then, which is kind of referencing um, Judas Belmont's role on the. Uh, no, you'll hear more about that in certain other games like Hawaii of Zorro and Dawn of Zorro, but anyway, never mind about that. But, 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 but! Others have appeared to revive Dracula in the meantime. Somebody has to stand up, stand up, and stop. And only the Morris family is able to do that. Oh well then, at least I finally know the truth about my father and the whip. Still, are you okay with this? This job that we have to do is going to end up hurting your own daughters. I wonder if there's a chance you can save those two by using some kind of purification spell. The chances are very slim. You should know that. Even I never knew how to do it. I appreciate your sentiments, but I am resigned to their fate. I, I see. Forgive us, Jonathan, for placing this for you. I love this next bit coming up there. Uh, it, it, this one just pretty much underpins Jonathan's sort of personality to what T really does. No problem. I'll just do all I can. If you accepted it, then so do I. Let's go, Charlotte. Right. Yay, Jonathan's optimistic again. He's always been told that the, uh, the, his father died because he botched up with the whip and, and his family's sort of tied with this and the, the whole thing. Well, I don't know. He's kind of happy about it. Never mind about it. We're happy to talk to him. Wind or rather Eric some more because we need to look back. a few more quests. I don't need no one that one I don't I need still need a couple more. 
items for so one of them is a holy appearance um which i need uh the wear three number items or rather charlotte that's me wearing i'm sorry um number of fortune where i need to have a certain amount of money as long as the n 777 and the main tool trading in which i need to um uh, reduce all my magic and i'm not going to do that right about now i'm going to go over here and serve and we'll be tackling those quests in the next video, folks!